This is a tutorial on how to use the cropping tool in Photoshop. So for your project, I want you to open up some of your favorite scans, some of the ones that you find to be more, most interesting from the first part of the research. Open them in Photoshop, and then using the cropping tool, create a transformative work. So sometimes very simple ideas can be very effective. So in this case, finding an area that you might overlook in the larger scan and cropping it down to that area to focus on it very frequently can create a completely different image that feels very different and in most cases feels much more abstract than the original image. So from my motion studies, I particularly like this scan. I think it's got a lot of interesting areas and it's got a lot of potential uh, for cropping. So I've opened it up and I'm going to crop it down to discover another composition. I want you to do this at least um, for five examples. And out of those five examples, you're going to pick your favorite and you're going to, you're going to turn that in. Um, so the first thing is we just need to go to our toolbar. Um, I've already opened this image up. So just need to go to our toolbar and we're going to go down to the fifth tool. Now remember that some of the tools, or most of the tools actually, have a flyout. So you might have to go to the flyout, which is that little triangle in the bottom right hand corner of the icon for the tool. And that little flyout will show you the options for that tool. So the crop tool, the fifth tool, actually is four tools. In this case though we want the top one, which is the crop tool. Now the crop tool, you're going to set its settings in the toolbar options, right? So remember that this, this option bar that's at the top of your work area that I'm kind of pointing to constantly changes depending upon what tool you have selected. In this case, I have the crop tool selected. So this gives me the settings for the crop tool. And there's a number of different ways that you can set a, a, a preset by clicking on this first option, right? So you can use one of these presets that are already set up. But I want to use the second option, which is height by um, width by resolution, or, or I guess width by height by resolution. So that lets me set a specific um, width, a specific height, and then a specific resolution. In this case, I'm going to crop this down to a square composition. So I'm going to make it 8 inches by 8 inches, and then a resolution of 300. Remember that you want to keep your resolution at at least 300 for something that you're going to eventually print. Then you're going to pull on one of the corners of the box that represents the, the cropped area. And I can reposition that by clicking and dragging. So I'm just, uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally cropped, so let's hit escape to stop that. So you're going to pull from the corner um, and then click and drag to drag the image inside that little box that you've created. And whatever area you include inside that box is going to be cropped to the dimensions that you set. And so I set mine um, 8 inches by 8 inches at a resolution of 300. So once this crop is completed, that little area will be 8 inches by 8 inches and at a resolution of 300. So to accept that crop, you're going to hit return on the keyboard. And your dialog box will show you that it's cropping. And when it finishes, that is your cropped composition, which in this case is much more abstract than the original composition. And I personally found that to be really interesting and very beautiful. Um, if you want to see that a little larger, then come up to your selection menu. And, um, or sorry, go up, come up to your view menu and come down to fit on screen. Notice that the shortcut for that is command zero. So that's basically what I want you to do for the exercise. Find five scans that you think will make interesting crops, 
crop them down to a detail to make a transformative work. Now, once you've made the crop, you don't want to save this. If you save it, it's going to override your original scan, and that would override my motion scan, which I don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to go to the File menu. We're going to go to Save As. So the difference between Save and Save As is Save will save the file overriding the original file. Save As will save the file creating a new file and preserving the original file. So for Save As, I'm going to click that. Maybe I name this um, not with my last name, Williams. And then Crop 1, C-R-O-P-0-1. And you would save this into whatever folder you've been saving your um, crops into. So I've been saving those on the desktop. Um, and I guess I'm going to just create a new folder by clicking the new folder button and I'll call this uh, crops and hit create and in that new crop folder I'll save this hit save and hit OK. So we can do another example um, so I'll just go to file and I'll go to open and I'll find the um, scans that I made for this project. Which I'm not quite sure where I put that, so let me search for it. So, scan. To find those scans. Just kind of look through them. You know, these could be kind of interesting. They're already pretty abstract, um, but we could abstract them further. So I'll open one of these. I'm going to go to my crop tool and in this case I'm going to crop down pretty small so I'm going to go ahead and oversample this one. Um, so we'll do it at 600 for the resolution and um, I guess I'll leave this 10 by 6. kind of find a little area that you are attracted to. Um, I kind of like just the straight lines here, then this vacant area, and then the, the, this part that has the text, right? So maybe we'll crop down to that. Hit return on the keyboard. Command zero. And so that's very much different than the original composition. So finding this transformative moment is the idea behind cropping. So to save that, we would go to File, and remember, go to Save As, not Save, because we don't want to override the original image. Um, I want to navigate to my Crops folder, or wherever you're saving these, and I'm going to name this one Williams, um, and then this will be Crop 03. So name it with your last name, and then Crop 03. And we're going to save that as a JPEG, and we'll hit Save. And then finally, OK. So that's basically what I want you to do for the cropping. That's the end of this tutorial.